from cell 14D, which served as one of the aforementioned whole cells. It's believed by many to be considerably active with spirits. Employees and visitors alike have reported feeling a sudden coldness and claim that there is sometimes an intensity encompassing the cell. One of the most Some might know California as the Sunshine State that is famous for its beaches, Hollywood, and surfing. But I want to introduce you guys to the darker side of California. Because why not? The California side that is full of ghosts, horror, and unexplainable paranormal encounters. Did you guys know that California is also known for having some of the most haunted houses in the world? Well, let's grab some salt and sage and travel down a dark path to some of the scariest houses in the world. And I might actually need some holy water for this one as well. Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm your host, Lewis with Landon Do Not Sing, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. I have a lot of energy right now. I'm super excited to film this one for you guys. So before we get started, I want to know what scares you guys the most. Let me know your answers in the comment section below. For me, my new fear has to be drowning, because it almost happened when we went whitewater rafting. And I'm also afraid of dogs. I don't know why. Not the chihuahua kinds, the, the bigger kinds. The dogs I don't know. And I guess my wife wants me to tell you guys I'm also afraid of wind. Don't laugh. <laughs> Let's get right into this one. This is the top 10 scariest haunted houses in California, all of which possesses a very, very dark history. Getting us scared in at number 10 is John Soden and his house in Los Angeles. It's time to brace yourselves because this story is pretty dark. Back on January 15th, 1947, a woman's body was found on this lot. Her murder became one of the most reported murders of the time because of the gruesome way in which her body had been found. She was surgically cut in half from the waist down, washed, cleaned, and posed by her killer. Residents who have since lived there have reported hearing strange noises, such as the dragging of heavy chains, heavy footsteps, and voices calling their name. It's actually a really nice looking house, but it is full of negative energy, and it is also believed that anyone who steps foot in this house will be cursed. So, you know what? I'm good at just admiring the architecture from like, Google Maps. I don't even have to see it in real life. The Queen Mary ship creeps onto this list at number 9. I had to include this one on this list because people technically did live on this ship and it is referred to as one of the most haunted ships in America. It was operated since the 1930s but now it is permanently docked in Long Beach, California and it is used as a hotel. As nice as this might sound, while guests on board will often experience sleepless nights, there have been a bunch of scary paranormal activities reported on this ship. Guests will say that they will hear a creepy kid laughter in the middle of the night, or things will be flown across the room. And room B340 has been taken out of rotation after there's been numerous violent poltergeist activities. It's actually impossible to keep someone in that room for the entire night because they will just get scared away. For me, I would probably last um, a minute. Probably not even that long. Up next, number eight, we have the Stanley Warehouse. This is a notorious haunted house that has a long reputation of being one of the most haunted places in Orange County. One of the most talked about frightening ghosts that live here is the previous owner. During her golden year, she was unable to climb up the stairs, so after her death, she is known to appear in spirit on the staircase, blocking others from going up. Visitors have reported that they found it difficult or even impossible to get past her and go up the stairs. Oh, and let's not forget about the spirit of an old man who you can hear whispering nasty and offensive things while you sleep. And if you visit the house, you will be able to hear a baby crying upstairs. But when you go into the nursery, no one is there. That would freak me out. I think I would want to visit this house just to see if I can make it upstairs, but you'll never convince me to sleep there. I mean, I just value my life way too much, and I gotta find out what happens next on Bachelor in Paradise. Yo. Moving into number 7, we have the Battery Point Lighthouse. This is an iconic lighthouse located in Crescent City, California, and it was built back in 1856. There has been numerous reports of strange and creepy occurrences happening there. Lighthouse workers and guests say that they have heard what sounded like someone wearing large boots stomping around. There have also been reports of items moving, cold spots, and the feeling that someone was touching them when no one was even there. 
Apparently there are three ghosts that haunt this lighthouse. Because you know, one just isn't enough. No one seems to know who they are or why they are haunting this place. All I know for sure is that we should just board up the place and just leave it alone, just forget about it. Every now and again, a visitor will feel someone tapping on their shoulder or furniture will move by itself. I mean, that is definitely not okay. And definitely you don't wanna be there on a stormy night. Bad things are said to happen there when it rains. The Whaley House haunts us in at number six. This house was built on an old site where the public executions used to occur. So yeah, <laughs> I would say this place is pretty damn haunted. Over the years, many descendants of the Whaley family lived and died in that house, and when the house was being restored, workers and visitors began to notice strange and mysterious sounds, sightings, smells, and encounters. A lot of people reported hearing scary noises and loud footsteps that left footprints. You can actually visit this house and take a tour, but I'd rather not. I'd rather spend my time at Disneyland, you know, where I know it's 100% safe and uh, not too scary, or, or is it? This place is littered with scary ghosts and a lot of unsettling things have happened there. I'm getting the chills just thinking about it, so I gotta move on. Let's move on, let's see what we have next. Well, you know what, the red house jumps into number five next on our list. This is an old abandoned house that is occupied by a vengeful spirit. Back in the beginning of the 20th century, an engaged couple used to live here. Well, on the night before their wedding, they had a huge fight and the man pushed his fiance down the stairs. She died and he buried her in the backyard. Well, today she has been seen haunting the house and nearby businesses. People have reported that she is wearing her wedding dress that is covered in blood. Is it her own blood? And local legends say that if you step in front of her, she'll rush forward and drag you to her gravesite and you will never be seen again. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be visiting this creepy thing anytime soon or any of these haunted haunted houses on this list. I'm just not brave enough. Like I told you, I hear wind and I run. I see something just a bit bigger than a chihuahua and I run. Okay, the Glen Tavern Inn creeps us in at number four. This house was built in 1911, but don't be fooled by its beautiful exterior. This house has a very ugly past. Back during the Prohibition, they converted the third floor into a speakeasy, brothel, and gambling den. And one of the most infamous rooms is room 307, which is said to be haunted by two ghosts. The amount of paranormal activity here is very high. Visitors said that they saw children running through the halls, and some say that they've seen an angry man and a one-eyed female. There are also reports of the spirits playing the piano in the middle of the night, and others have said that their stuff was stolen. There have also been a lot of deaths that have occurred in this room. A cowboy was shot to death, and a woman was beheaded and left in a closet. So needless to say, this place has a lot of angry and vengeful spirits. Los Coches Adobe makes it onto this list at number three. This might be one of the most terrifying places in California, and you know what's even more terrifying? The fact that I probably pronounced it wrong. This building is located on an old mine site, however, it was covered up because on one horrific day, an accident occurred in the mine and about 30 workers were trapped inside. All of them lost their lives, so it's no wonder that this place is haunted. Locals and visitors have said that they heard the screams of the trapped miners echoing from the property and there are also numerous reports of a lady in black and a male phantom walking around the grounds. Some people have even said that they've seen the ghost of a hanging man from a tree. And then we have the dark force. Locals say that this force is strong enough to throw you to the ground and then you can feel heavy footsteps walking on your back, preventing you from getting up. There are a bunch of people who have said that they will never step foot in this place again. And I'm one of them, I don't blame them. Number two, we have the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose. Since it was built in 1884, the mansion is said to be haunted by ghosts who were killed with Winchester rifles. Construction began in 1884 and never stopped until the owner died in 1992. The owner believed that her house was haunted by victims and the only way to keep them quiet was to keep on building. The building was opened by the public in 1923 and the staff and the visitors have reported seeing mischievous spirits who liked to torment them. So yeah, don't be fooled by this beautiful house because it is actually full of ugly surprises and scary ghosts lurking in every corner. Well, for those of you guys who are either brave or really naive, 
Well, you can actually take a tour there and see all of the ghosts and scary paranormal activities for yourself. Alcatraz tops this list at number one. Prisons are often the site of restless spirits and hauntings, and Alcatraz is no exception to that. This prison was the site of violent activities, and it held some of the most dangerous criminals in the world. Alcatraz is actually a breeding ground for the paranormal. One of the most feared presence on the island is known as The Thing. This creepy spirit has red glowing eyes and it has been recently seen by visitors and also by the prison staff when Alcatraz was in operation. Other common reportings are of creepy voices, sobbing, screaming, and the banging of cell doors. Some have even said that they felt as if they were being touched, felt cold, and they even had an emotional outburst of either sadness or anger just out of nowhere. Well, there you guys have it. This is the end of the video. I was your host, Landon Do Not Sing, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.